Thank you. 
Buddy. Hey, how's it going? Oh, sure. Sounds like a real hoot. <laughs> oh, I go digging up bits of history and try to piece them back together. It's usually not so dramatic. Just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock. But this island's chock full of finds. Goodness, my name! I'm Triffany Lottablog. I heard about the trip to Snack Tooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Or I could really get out there, try following in Grandma's footsteps. You might have heard of Bronica Lottablog, an adventuring type just like Lisbert. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love history. Bless her heart. 
Amazing, don't you think? We got paintings of bug snacks from a thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the bug snacks, they always stay. They are walking records of history. It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Gramble's throat. No, no, nothing so simple as that. I wanted him to come with me to the ruins, honest. But he wouldn't give up his farm, not even for me. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Lovely gal, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabel. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology less so, but the Lotta Blog method can be unconventional. Bug the heck out of Agabel. She never liked to see anyone hurt. Least of all, Liz. You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lisbert wound up. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. Speaking of mysteries. You betcha. Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. I'm thinking you might have better luck with it. Anywho, I've nearly talked your ear off. Better get back to work, eh? Thought you'd never ask. OMG, I have so many hot takes. <laughs> I'm Bethica Winklesnew, and I basically do whatever I want. <laughs> Let's just say I'm an information specialist. I'm here on vacay. Uh, unrelated fun fact, did you know that no international laws apply out here? I'm just saying, if you got in trouble, like a lot of trouble and all your friends turned against you, this would be a great place to hide out forever. Oh, they're so cute, I could literally eat them up. And I do! Ugh, there's drama, and then there's drama. We have too many Geminis around here, and I'm done getting caught up in social dumpster fires. Oh, hey, my cave was sweet. Plus, it was close enough to Wambus that I could swipe some sauce when I needed to. Cromdo. That greedy little squeeb started looting the second Liz was gone. Then, he tried to sell me her projector. So, I like posted pics of all his little crimes, and then I got out of there before he could get back at me. What don't I know about Lizbert? Wink. Uh, Liz is smart and fearless, and she can see the talent in all of us. It's impossible not to look up to her. She's practically invincible, but she does have one weakness. A 
Agabel. Liz would go to the end of the world and back to make her happy. And if I've learned anything in life, it's that you can't let your happiness depend on somebody else. Liz and Agabel got in a big argument before Liz went hunting. I haven't seen either of them since. If I'm being optimistic, maybe they're on a romantic getaway sorting it out together? No prob. I'm just happy to see your interview skills in action. Oh, and before you go, I think you should take this. It's the key to Liz's cabinet. The stuff in there is really personal, but finding her is more important than keeping all her secrets. <laughs> Sorry, interview's over. Don't let me down, bestie. I'm back in town after a narrow escape from a pack of vicious bug snacks. Just in time for a gorgeous doctor to treat my grievous wound. Well, this gorgeous doctor thinks you're an idiot. Oh, well that stings. And after I face those snacks just for you. Don't joke around. I, I don't want you taking risks to impress me. But you are impressed, yes? Lucky it's such a shallow cut. And stop squirming around or I'll have to restrain you. Igabel? <laughs> Not while the camera is on. Trying to look strong for your audience? <clears throat> so, how's it look, Bill? Think I'll be up and hunting soon? No, you need to stay a while, Liz. Aw, Igabel, you miss me that much? I just want you in peak hunting condition. <laughs> uh, speaking of, you haven't seen the haul from my latest excursion. Ooh, did you bring me something good? You tell me. It's a brand new snack, and you'll be the first to try it. Oh, Liz, you spoil me. Hey, Tiffany, what's going on? Doing good? Hi! Find the other Grumpuses, find out what they know, and convince them to come back to town. Find the other Grumpuses, find out... I'll see ya! I gotta admit, it's nice having Wamby around again. We'll just have to wait and see if he really learned his lesson. Bye bye now.
a bug. Evening. How's it going? Nice to see ya. Hello! Oh, and 
have I got a story for you. Bill, are you okay? I'm worthless. That's not true. You're just having one of those days. Every day is one of those days. Did something happen? Everything happened. Trifany broke her leg. Gramble got food poisoning. I couldn't help both of them. Everybody was shouting at me. I didn't know what to do. That's... None of that's your fault. What's the point if I can't help anybody? I just sit here all day while everybody else is out there all productive and happy. That's not true. You help me all the time. Like when I cut my paw. You only got hurt because you were getting snacks from me. You'd be fine if I wasn't around. Don't say that. I need you, Bill. You were there when the world was laughing at me. You were there for me during the worst days of my life. I'm here for you, too. The world can suck an egg. I know what'll make you feel better. Yeah. Thanks, Liz. I'd fall to pieces without you. How's it going? How you doing? I wish I could be like when she made a plan. Till next time. Hey, Gramble. Hey. How's it going? Bye bye. Bong, 
bang bang Friday Bang 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 Bunger! 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 Everything okay? Ah, <sighs> another fine day behind us. my feet into big bopsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bopsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. Oh, 
Bunker, 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 bunker